highway. However, if you're not in a rush, you might want to be there. So I really hope that that B-Wall was just as good as I'm thinking that it's gonna be. I haven't shot anything and we are just like starting to plan out everything on how we're going to shoot it, but I'm, 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 I'm having a good feeling about this and I'm thinking that it's gonna be really good when it's done. How do you feel? Uh, well, I feel kind of, it's uh, kind of blurry at the moment because I have your glasses on, <laughs> but yeah, you know, it feels okay. So for this sequence, I'm going to shoot everything in 100 frames per second in Paul. And the reason for that is because we have the office lights here in the background. And if I go up to NTSC, they will flicker so that I can slow down the video when I get into post-production without like getting the flicker in the background. I'm gonna shoot everything with my Sony a7 III as usual. And I'm gonna use the S-Log2 picture profile that I've set up for myself. And if you like wanna set it up for yourself, then you can just go into the description and make sure that you uh, try it out because it's actually a really good one. So when it comes to the props that we're gonna use for this like sequence, we are going to use a tape rulle, as we say in Swedish, stapler. Yeah, we probably have to get another one to be able to open that up. Penno. And we're also gonna use like some blank papers to be able to get that shot that I have in mind. I think it's gonna be cool, I don't know yet. And we're also gonna have a scissor to get the I have no clue how this is gonna turn out, but if we manage to like get everything as I'm thinking in my head, this is probably gonna be a really epic one. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but hopefully I trust you. So it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> as most of you know, uh, I'm from Sweden and you wanna say this too, because we, like, we are here in Gothenburg right now. But what I wanna say is that you should definitely check out Jonas Instagram because he is a master of light. Thanks for, for saying that. Uh, actually, I think it's, uh, I, I love light. I, I usually take a lot of product and portrait photography images and uh, I love light. I love the direction of light, the intensity of light and how you can shape the light to achieve different effects during portrait and product photography. So I think that's awesome and I share that on Instagram. I try to have a kind of an educational content where I sketch my lighting setups and show people how I light things so that more people get inspired and want to learn more about photography uh, regarding product and portrait photography. So I'm gonna say right now, if you're interested in like taking really professional looking photos at home or learning how to actually light your photos, then definitely go give him a follow because he has some really educational content and takes some really good photos. As for the first shot, I'm gonna use the baddest 85 millimeter and we're not gonna use the light that we have. And the reason for that is because we wanna have the like first couple of sequences or a couple of shots are gonna be this boring, dull, regular day at the office. And then we're gonna kick everything off with epic like B-roll sequences, if you may. So. Let's see if we can get it. Perfecto. Now let's put on the 24 millimeter. So we're not gonna like turn on light just yet. We're just gonna like do a couple of shots with the boring light and then we're gonna turn it off. For this shot, I'm gonna try to do focus pulling with my thumb. So I place my thumb on the focus ring and then I turn it at the same time as I'm moving the camera and try to match the focus with the like distance of Jonas in this case. Yeah. Oh, this is also exact. Yeah. Exact so. That's what we got. So this part is where the whole like epic slow-mo scenes are taking place. So we're gonna put on the light. Did you say it like that? Put on the light? Turn on the light. So this, this is gonna be the hard part of this sequence. Okay. 
So the lighting that I'm gonna use for this entire shoot is gonna be the is gonna be the Nanlite Forza 300 with a 150 centimeter softbox and a grid attached to that. This is a 300 watt light and it gives us this really like powerful output that we can like adjust to like really dial in the perfect exposure for the sequence. So now we're gonna jump into the shot where like he is flicking through the papers and then throwing up. We're gonna cut it into two different shots I think. So the first is gonna be like when he's flicking through the papers like a flip book and then like throwing one paper up into the air. All right, so we're gonna rig up the Aperture 120D as well to get that like rim light and have a bit of a 3D look to the whole scene. A lot of papers were killed during the process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shot. <laughs> no! Mwah! tries well uh, I think a few a few tries we want to make sure that it actually feels like epic you know that it feels like it's so spot on that it, it must have taken a lot of time I think this is going to be a really tedious one, but hopefully it's going to turn out good. <laughs> Den. Oh! Känner den bra? Ja, oh, den känns bra. Kolla. Se om du kan få upp den. Om du kan trycka till den så att den... Ja, ah, precis. Jag tror det kan bli riktigt coolt. We are at the halfway mark. How do you feel, Jonas? Yes, it feels good actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I haven't cut myself, and I can't see anything with your glasses, <laughs> but it's okay. I can take my glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can finally see again. Okay, so we have been shooting. I think it's like almost half the sequence right now, and it feels good. We have like come up with a bit of ideas like on the go but for the whole like sequence and the idea of the sequence I actually wrote a shot list that looks like this and it basically goes from like start to finish and I tried to like write everything in detail as much as I can to be able to have it like as clear as possible when I showed it to you Nas and give him the visualization that I have in my head before we actually shot this Ja, det är det. Vi nailed it. Och nu ska vi egentligen bara, ska vi egentligen bara börja med att du klipper så. Ja. Och då ska jag filma typ härifrån. Så att jag inte ser att det inte står något. Ja. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Then we can fake this shot, but it's gonna look so much better if we can actually cut to when he's like throwing the paper, paper uh, crumple, <laughs> the paper into the bin because I think it's like it's gonna like rise the whole sequence to another level. Oh, yo! <laughs> like how many papers? Ten? I uh, one. It was easy. Ah, okay, one. <laughs> So we decided to change the plans a little bit and instead of like standing at the coffee machine he's gonna like wake up by a snore in his chair with the like cool lights turned off and the office is gonna look as it always did and there's gonna be like a radio playing in the background and some people shattering and having this ambiance in the, the background.
and we are done! Åh! Oh, känns bra! Jonas? Ja, yeah, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I really hope that you enjoyed this B-roll sequence and the behind the scenes of it. And uh, again, Jonas, come forth. Thank you so much for participating in this. Thank you. And, uh, being a part of this epic B-roll. And if you like want to learn how to take really good photos and learn lighting and those kind of techniques and follow an all around awesome dude on Instagram, this is the dude that you definitely should follow. I'm gonna put a, his name, his Instagram tag right here and in the description below. Thank you so much, I had a blast. Yeah, me too. It was awesome and I really enjoyed shooting this. It was a little bit tedious, you know, but uh, we made it work. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated as well. And uh, here is the final result one more time.